Well, today's uh, short video is answering some questions specifically on the camera gear that I use and it's one of the questions that I get asked the most. Uh, I get asked all the time, what kind of cameras do you use when you're out vlogging, when you're doing your wild camps or going up a hill or hiking and I thought I'd do a short video just uh, about that today. Um, on my video that I talked about my tent, I think in some of the comments Evelyn Banks and Christopher Walker asked me specifically about this, but I do generally get asked this question the most um, in, in, on social media and on Twitter. And, and uh, as always with these videos, these are just answering questions that I get asked. They're not in-depth reviews or how-to guides. There's plenty of those on the internet. So if you're really looking for in-depth reviews of the gear, I, I, I suggest you switch off now and <laughs> go and do a Google search and, and find it. This is just my own personal uh, views on the kit that I use. So what I think I'll do is I'll probably just go through the different cameras that I've got and that I use at the moment. It is, um, yeah, the, the cameras do change over time and I use some more than others, so obviously I'm filming this on one of the cameras, so I'll need to swap that over later. But I'll, I'll start off with the, the cameras that I bought more recently, and the one that I do the most vlogs, or B-roll certainly, and it gets used the most when I'm out doing my vlogs, is this little fella here. Uh, this is the GoPro 6, and I bought this about a year ago. Uh, the GoPro tend to bring out a new version uh, on a yearly basis, so there's now a GoPro 7 out depending on when you're, when you're watching this. But this is a GoPro 6 Black Edition, and for about, oh I don't know, six, seven, eight years prior to me buying this last year, I had a GoPro, uh, it was a GoPro 3 Black, and it was excellent, um, and it came in its own casing and what have you. Uh, but I eventually got rid of this. So this is my, my GoPro and this is what I use uh, most often and I usually use it in conjunction with this, which is just a tiny little, uh, I think this tripod's oh, Manfrotto and I bought this for, I got this for £9 in a sale at an airport. <laughs> I thought I'm going gonna, gonna to have that. I'm not sure how much they, they usually retail that but uh, this was certainly reduced and the GoPro fits in there. I need to tighten up the leg. This, this annoys me. I just need to get an Allen key and tighten it up. But, this is this is what I do a lot of my B-roll on, uh, just a wee, wee tripod, the GoPro goes in and yeah, press go. So what do I like about the GoPro? Uh, so I've written this down, uh, as you know I'd like to write things down because I'll forget them. What I like about this is it gives me the option to record in 4K, which is the way that things are going now. <laughs> The downside of that is it takes up so much memory <laughs> in your computers. I think I've bought goodness knows how many external hard drives because the 4K does does it, does it eat into your uh, memory much more than the, the full HD did. So you get 4K with this. I usually uh, swap between 4K and 1080. Uh, the other feature I like about this is in, in 1080 you can get a whole load of different frame rates. In fact, you can get frame rates across all the different resolutions. You can go 720, 1080, I think, oh, 1440, 2.7K and 4K, and there's a number of frame rates, but I'll often switch back to 1080 and maybe go up to 100 frame rates or 50 frame rates if I want to capture anything in slow-mo. Uh, sometimes you'll see me uh, rolling the tent out and uh, <laughs> it's in slow motion. That's on the full HD uh, and at about 100 frames per second, it allows me to slow it down with that. Um, what else do I like about this? Yeah, it's um, battery life. This is a big thing for me. Not, not so much in the summer, but in the winter up in Scotland. Oh, I'll talk about this a bit later on, but it'll be the same in any cold climate. It's just keeping the batteries going. And my old um, GoPro 3, I had third-party batteries in it. One, th one thing I would suggest you never do is buy third party batteries. I would go through three or four of those or if I was climbing and the GoPro was in the helmet, the battery would run out about 10 minutes into the climb and I couldn't, you know, I'm halfway up a cliff face so I, could, <laughs> I couldn't change it so I had no no way of uh, getting the footage. So the battery with this is much, much better. It's a, it's a, it's a battery that, I've, that I bought with it and I don't have a spare battery for this. Um, it's only recently that I've noticed that I've been running low on, on juice when it's been really, really cold, but the battery's excellent. So much better than the old, or any, or any third-party batteries. 
stabilization with this is fantastic so i often do just hold it for b-roll and with the old one you'd, you'd notice it sort of uh it wouldn't be smooth footage but the stabilization with this is just superb and i think it's even better with the with the hero 7 that's out now but this does me absolutely fine with as with all gopros another advantage that i like is that it's pretty rugged and it's waterproof so if i'm going out and it's the weather's horrendous and it's blowing a hoolie and chucking it down the rain i tend not to, to take my big camera out and i'll just do all the vlogs the whole vlog using the, the gopro uh, it just saves the other camera which isn't so waterproof being ruined so it's great for that what else do i like yeah just the ease of setup um just come let's put it on the wee tripod and if i see something which looks nice or make some b-roll i can just pop that down dead easy to take out out of my pocket and set up and i can just press the top button and off it goes with the old ones you had to press one button to turn it on and then the other button to start the footage and i'd always forget which way around it was and that so with this is it's probably just press one button it starts and stops it with the same button really good if you've got a helmet on or um, if you're otherwise uh, engaged so that's the gopro uh, what do i not like about it yes i'll, I'll do a wee bit about what i don't like about it um, not so good in low light it's a lot better than the old one but uh, it's still not as good as these uh, sort of other cameras i've got bigger sensors it, it does tend to not give us good footage when it's low light so if i'm doing well camping and, and night photography and what have you although to say that it has got a night time lapse mode on it and has given me some nice pictures i'll maybe pop some up um so it's, it's certainly although i'm putting that as a negative it's certainly improved in the small sensor size and it does it does a, an excellent job i think the colors sometimes i think i've got something called protune on i can't remember once again you need to go and <laughs> look at that from a, a proper perspective google it uh, and I sometimes find in certain conditions the colours are a bit saturated and, and what have you, but it's nothing too bad. And as with all GoPros, yeah, you sometimes get the fish eye effect with it. I know you can t you've got different settings in here, extra wide or, or what have you, but you can you can sort sort some of that in post processing. So that's the first four cable camera. GoPro, probably the one that I use the most. So what else do I use? Ah, the other four K camera that I've got, you'll probably all know, is my drone. So this is the drone that I use, it's a Mavic Pro. Uh, it was the first generation when it, when it first came out. I've had this for a few years now. And um, before I got this, I had the DJI Phantom Standard 3, and that was excellent. I loved that. This, this now, uh, this is actually, yeah, I, love, I, I do love this now, but this did give me a lot of problems when I first got it. Uh, I had issues with it disconnecting. I had lots of jello. I really wasn't. Oh. Right, sorry about that. Uh, just when I was talking about batteries, <laughs> I hadn't checked the battery in the camera that I'm filming with and it ran out of battery. So I think I was talking about the Mavic, the Mavic Pro here, the first version which I had, and how it. Yeah, I had some real issues with it when I first got it. I had a lot of jello and I had really bad issues with it disconnecting not from the controller so i always had it in control and had it in line of sight but the the iphone that i had at the time which was an iphone 5 used to disconnect and i'd lose the the, the picture on the screen uh, i don't know whether that was due to the battery life and well, certainly was sometimes a battery but more the connection and not having enough memory or i don't know anyway the, there were certainly issues between the iphone 5 and the mavic's controller and i also had issues with jello when i first got it but apart from that, the, the drones are great. You get some great footage uh, that you would not get without a drone. You could hire a helicopter or a plane, but since the, sort of the drone revolution five or six years ago, there's some fantastic footage out there of beautiful sunrises and sunsets, and it's certainly given me some great B-roll, this, this drone, as well as the one before it. I had a, a DJI Phantom 3 drone, uh, standard, I think it was, and it was brilliant. In fact, it was better than this, I think. It didn't record in 4K, but it went up to, I think it was 2.7K. Uh, this is smaller, so it packs down more than the, the, the Phantoms, but there are smaller drones out there now. I think the Mavic Air... And the spark and what have you and i'd certainly if i had the money i would i would go i would downsize again because i think the footage that comes from the smaller 
uh, drones is probably just as good. Some people might say it's not. Yeah, you can see see it slightly, but I'm pretty sure the newer ones now are all the same sensors. I don't know. You need to go and check that. <laughs> the technical reviews, which I'm sure you have done if you're looking for drones. So yeah, good good piece of kit. Uh, downsides to it. Yeah, I had a few issues with connections. You can't always put it up. I mean, I carry this up in bag, and I, I would say it was only 15, 20% of the time that I get it out, mainly because of the weather, but if there's people around, I don't tend to take it out. Uh, if it's busy, you've got to kind of follow the, the drone rules and regulations in, in the UK, which is which are set by the Civil Aviation Authority as well. Uh, so have a look at them before you buy a drone and, and start flying it about the place. But yeah, you get some I mean, fantastic B-roll with this uh, with this 4K camera, which flies about the sky, but everyone's got them now, which is great. So you, you get some great, as I said, you get some great footage with them. Right, so what else have I got? Oh, right, before I go into the camera that we have on the tripod, which is filming me at the moment, the other camera that I use is, uh, well, is this, my iPhone. And this is an iPhone 8, and the one that I had before this was the iPhone 5. And even with the iPhone 5, I got some amazing shots with it. They're just so handy to take out, you can, you know, if there's a bit of light that appears, if it's a really gusty day, this is the first thing that comes out, and I'll take a quick snap before I can get the, the, the main camera out and firing away. And I, I think I've taken some of my best shots with this, albeit I'm not going to be blowing them up and putting them on the wall. They're good enough for my videos and good enough for social media and what have you. I just think they're, they're so good that they maybe don't get the credit that they, they're due. Uh, I don't, I'm not a photographer. Uh, I'm a hiker, I'm a hill walker, I'm an outdoor guy, and I just happen to have cameras with me. And if I see something I like, I'll snap away. Uh, unless I'm doing a wild camp and I've got time, that's the only time I really get the, the tripods out and, and concentrate on my photography. Uh, proper most of the time it's handheld and I just snap and shoot and some, you know, using using the phone uh, most of the time and I've, I've taken some great shots with this an iPhone 5 which was the one I had before this a bit smaller got some great shots with that as well but the, the sensor and the camera and this this newer version is certainly uh, a few steps up from the iPhone 5 one so some some great shots with that just shows you you don't need all the you, you don't need expensive equipment to do this if you look back, you, there's some great vlogs out there, people just using their phones to, to do the, to, to film the whole lot. Anyway, I digress. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to talk a bit about the camera which is currently filming me. So I'm going to have to change, I'll maybe pop my GoPro on for the next bit to record me talking about this camera. Right, let's change it over. <clears throat> okay, okay. so I have... This camera, and this is uh, my Sony Nex 7 camera, and I've had this, oh, I'm not sure how long I've had it, I've had it for a fair few number of years, seven or eight years perhaps, and as if I hold it up to the, the, the camera, you can see it's pretty well, <laughs> it's been well used, there's lots of scrapes, and it's, it's, it's fallen, been scraped against rocks, dropped in streams, well not quite dropped in and fully submerged, but it's certainly it's been through the mill and it's it's done pretty well. It's done it's, it's served me really well and I love this camera. I really do. I love it. And I know that the, it's been su it's been superseded for a number of years by other Sony cameras and other cameras in the marketplace. But for me this is this still does the job that I that I need it to do. Uh, in terms of the, the vlogs and what have you, this is the camera that I speak to. I'll pop it at arm's length and I use that when the weather's not too bad, otherwise I use the GoPro and I use that to to do my vlogs and on that point I also have, this is a microphone that I use with the, that's a really fluffy caterpillar, this just fits onto the socket on the top like so, this is a Sony microphone uh, compatible with an X7, what is it, it's a Sony ECM hyphen ALST1. But it's pretty good. And I use the, the wind muffler when I'm out because I, I do most of my vlogs in Scotland. <laughs> most of the time it's blown a hoolie. What do I like about this? Now let me just check my list of things next. But yeah, I love the size of it. It's really it can almost fit in the palm of my hand. Um, it's really quite small and lightweight and I usually have it on a strap and 
I've just bought, in fact, in fact I've just bought a new system. Uh, there's, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a clippy thing you put into your rucksack and you clip your camera onto it. And that's been excellent. Uh, I literally just bought that last week. Uh, for the rest of the time, this is just going around my neck and I, I carry it around my neck. So it's nice and easy to get access to. It's not too heavy and it's got inter it was my first ever camera uh, with an interchangeable lens and I've only got two lenses with it. One because, well, I can't, <laughs> I can't afford. I think the lenses are, are probably more important to, if you're a, a landscape photographer, any sort of photographer, if you buy a half decent camera, you're better spending a lot of money on the lenses. But once again, like I said with the phone, the lenses that come with this are, are good enough for, for the stuff I do. So I've got the kit lens with it, which gets used 90%, 95%, 97 of the time. It's an 18 to 55 kit lens uh, that came with the camera. But I do also sometimes take out the, the longer lens. This is a 55 to 210, and it was rel relatively cheap. And it's a Sony lens, and yeah, it's sometimes I usually take that one on wild camping, and you can get some nice long shots. So yeah, it's that, that's that's it really. Um, what do I not like about it? Well, I mean, it's it's a bit older now, and the battery life on it, the, oh, the battery, well, you just saw the battery died when I was doing this video, but I think Sony have rectified this, but that's the batteries you get with them, and in the winter, the, oh, if it's cold, I have to warm these up, and it's just an absolute nightmare trying to try to keep the batteries from losing juice in the winter with this, so I'm hoping if I ever do replace this, that the, the new one that I get will have a nicer battery, which will last a bit longer. So that's my Sony Next. Um, doesn't do 4K, only does 1080. As I said, most of the B-roll, most of the other footage is on the GoPro or on the drone, which has 4K. So uh, in the last year, I've been upscaling any any bits that I do to camera using this camera. I've just rendered into into 4K when I've been downloading the or finalising the the vlogs on the the programs. Uh, the only other thing that I haven't really talked about is when I do take the tri tripod out, obviously this is getting... <laughs> it's just that the, the tripod is being used at the moment as the GoPro's on it to video this. But I've just got a really cheap lightweight travel, it's a Ham, Hammer Travel Compact Pro. I know that for photography you're sometimes better with a, well you are better with a sturdy tripod, but I just bought the lightweight one because most of the time I'm carrying it up the top of a mountain along with God knows how much more weights and, and what have you. It does a job for me. Sometimes I could I could do with it being a bit more stable. So anyway, hopefully that answers the question uh, to those who have put it to me. What vlogging gear do I use? That's that's it. Mainly these three or four cameras at the moment. Hope it's been useful. If there's anything else you'd like me to chat about uh, in terms of what I do and how I do it and yada yada yada, just pop pop a question down in the comments but thanks very much for watching and I hope this has been useful and if you're out there stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. It's behind you unfortunately. <laughs>